So in addition to song lines, there's another method that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people use to navigate um, long distances, and that's through this idea of star maps. So this is what a typical Western star map would look like. And in terms of what an Indigenous star map would look like, well, it's actually quite similar. Um, much like this um, star map that traces the shape of this constellation, um, the Camilleroy and Uwalio nations use very similar patterns of stars to represent the notions and routes of travels across our land. Yeah, so for example, each star in the constellation on the right refers to a specific location on the ground. And that those features, those landmarks, they're the things that are going to help guide you on your journey. Now, this, um, the pattern, the constellation pattern uh, in general can also uh, tell you about the direction in which you need to travel. Now, this star map in particular talks about a 600 kilometer journey uh, from Gaduga uh, in New South Wales, Northwest New South Wales, all the way up to Carnivon George in Queensland. Now these stars, they don't really serve as a two scale map that we would you know, often be used to, but they reflect the easiest route to navigate when you are simply using you know, your body and your memory and the features that you see around you. Uh, and of course, they refer to the specific things that you're going to see um, in that landscape, whether that be on the ground or in the sky. Now, the stars are particularly valuable when teaching, say, um, younger people or perhaps new uh, newcomers to that country. They're really, really useful in showing uh, people how to navigate across that country, but then also other people's country that you may not be as familiar with. Now, over time, the route that this star map, uh, this exact star map uh, tracks has actually become another highway, kind of similar to what we were talking about with the Songlands discussion. Uh, and this is called Carnivon Highway. Now this connects again, Gaduga to Carnivon George. And interestingly, the traditional waypoints that the Gamilaroi and the Yilei people would use, they've become towns and cities, uh, all based off this, this one star map that was used by these communities. Uh, and so we have examples of uh, Durabendi, which is now a town, and also St George, which has also become a town after the creation of this highway um, and everything that came after uh, you know this star map had been used for generations. And what's particularly useful about star maps is that their shape can be kept in mind whether you're traveling on the land or traveling um, by day or night. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. So what's particularly useful about star maps is that their shape can be kept in mind depending on whether you're traveling at day or at night. Um, which is useful because um, environment and, and weather can have an effect on what you can actually see at any one particular time. And so Uncle Bill um, of the Waterman people, uh, he tells us that the Northern Territory people traveled primarily at night due to it, the, the cooler air being around, um, as well as the stars being visible to use that as a bit of a guide. Whereas Uncle Gilla and the Iwalio peoples um, similarly explained that they use the song lines and star maps um, to travel as a more of a mnemonic tool to remember the way in which they need to travel. And so they actually liked to travel during the day um, when they could see these landmarks and these objects that were guiding them on the land a lot more easily. 